And with the first Democratic debate in the books, there's a lot to unpack considering the number of candidates hoping to become the next president. Yeah, Brandon Bates watched the debate with a political expert tonight from Wake Forest University to try to break down and simplify what we all saw. That's not an easy task, Brandon. It's really not. With just the sheer amount of candidates, I mean, you can get kind of lost in all of the jumble. But Alan Loudon, he's a professor at Wake Forest, he showed us what we should look for and his take on the debate. Take a look. Two days packed with opinions and ideas from presidential hopefuls as to how to run the country the right way. It felt like they were kind of out of the loop of how they viewed the politics of the country for what was going on there. We sat down with a politics expert from Wake Forest who says these candidates all have a very specific strategy before they walk on this stage. So when they got to the health care issue, it got confusing. And my guess is a voter watching that will not come away knowing what anyone's position is, mm -hmm. except they somehow disagree. Alan Loudon says getting viewers to hear their message is important. The ones who sounded just like a politician, I think this is not the season for that. But making their message memorable is crucial. It's more than just who's ahead and everything else. They actually have to connect with voters in the end. Loudon says after watching both debates, there is a clear front runner in Joe Biden, but he says there is still plenty of time left. And Loudon also says that being relatable is huge in these debates and it could end up being the deciding factor in the end as well. And with 24 Democratic candidates and all, this can be a lot to take in. But we have some time, 495 days exactly until uh, the election day. So a lot of time to form your opinions between now and then. Yep. And that field's going to get a lot smaller in the months ahead. <laughs> yeah, Brandon, yeah. thank you very much. And thanks to Dr. Loudon as well.